If you've been to the grocery store lately, it's hard to miss. Consumers are having to eat the cost of higher food bills. While overall inflation is down after hitting a decade's high last year, grocery prices were still 11.3 percent higher this January compared to the same time in 2022. To help consumers make the most of their food budget, digital video producer Casey Kuhn decided to put together some tips, including a quiz. Hi, Casey. It's good to see you. Hi, Amna. So tell me, why did you decide to do this? So to be honest, when I saw my husband uh, bringing home brand named items from the grocery store uh, in this economy, I said no. So <laughs> I thought, you know, we've covered inflation and higher food prices, but I really wanted to make something that would be engaging and help our viewers have some news you can use. And, you know, my mom taught me these shopping tips, but I turned to some experts to help. This video is for people who hate to go grocery shopping. People like my dad, my husband, and my boss. Grocery shopping is an acquired skill, at least for some. For others, it's a miserable chore, putting you in competition with other shoppers looking for the ripest avocado. But it is how we put food on the table. Beth Monsell started the cooking blog Budget Bites after the 2008 recession. I had nothing left that I could cut back other than food, so I started really breaking down the cost of the food that I was cooking and eating. She has a lot of advice on how to navigate shopping at the grocery store where prices fluctuate and always seem to be getting higher. It's a really easy way to save money or manipulate your budget. It's just based on what you choose to buy and what you choose to cook or not cook. Okay, Casey, so you, along with others on the digital video team, put together this quiz, right? Right. Huge shout out to Jenna Cohen and Megan McGrew, who helped build this quiz from scratch. Shout out to them. To be clear, I have already taken this quiz. I got four out of five right, which kills the perfectionist in me, but let's let's kind of go through this now. The premise is I'm gonna make a homemade pizza, I have to buy the ingredients, right? And the first question is how to pick the base. Right, so you have the option of choosing raw pizza dough or a pre-made crust. Okay, and I picked the pre-made crust, right? The frozen one, which was wrong, why? Okay, so that was wrong because it's the more processed option. And when you're buying something that's more processed, you're paying for that convenience. And if you buy the raw pizza dough, it's kind of one more step to make it to a crust. I will say this was a very divisive question on the internet. Um, a lot of people really would prefer to pay more for the convenience rather than save the money. Which is often the case, right? Okay, now on the next question, we wanna add the cheese, right? And I chose, uh, the block of cheese, which is correct. I was thinking I get more for my money there, right? But tell me why. Well, you're exactly right, yes. You get more cheese per dollar if you buy the whole block versus the processed shredded cheese, kind of like what we were talking about before. And kind of a big giveaway for this quiz is if you look at one item, one thing on the sales tag, the price per ounce, you're always going to get it right because if it's a lower price per ounce, it's going to be a better deal and that's true in the grocery store too. So that's kind of one big takeaway I'm hoping people have is if people start comparing the price per ounces in the grocery store, it's it really does make a huge difference. So even if you pay more, the item's more expensive, you're getting more for your money. And exactly. that's the point, right? Exactly. It's a great quiz. I hope more folks take it. Digital video producer Casey Kuhn, thanks to you and your team so much. Thank you, Amna. And you can watch the entire video and take the quiz yourself by going to our website. That's pbs.org newshour.